All right, everybody. Happy Saturday. Um, we got our new spring package in. Um, these are uh, pack springs from TrickFlow and the um, titanium retainers. They only offer uh, steel or titanium. They don't have a tool steel option like I had with these. Uh, these were Lunati springs. Um, I've had these on for um, about three or four years, and they're not measuring up to... Um, the spring pressures that, that they used to. So they lost a little bit of their seat pressure. But nonetheless, um, I'll weigh these two packages. We actually, with this, for one, you can see the big difference between the two is the inner spring on the Lenati is small, where the pack spring is actually, the inner spring is sticks out of the top there. So, um, so here's my scale is zeroed out. Here's the Lenati spring. They're about the same. Uh, so what's, that's looking like 92 grams. And then here's the pack uh, trick flow spring, 94 grams. 92, 93, let's say within a gram, 94, 92, I guess where you, 91, 92, that's 94 there. 92. Let's see if we can get it right in the center of the scale. Let's go there. Okay, so say 92 grams right in the center there. And here is the trick flow. That's 93, one gram heavier. And here are the here's the Lenati tool steel retainer. 17 grams, and here is the titanium retainer from TrickFlow, 11 grams. So, the total spring package, I'm, I'm using the same lock, so it won't make a difference. Um, so that's 108 for the Lenati, 103 for the TrickFlow with the titanium retainer. So five gram savings and a and a stronger stronger spring. So um, I'm gonna go ahead, I got the heads cleaned up here. I'm gonna go ahead and set the installed height and I'll show you where we're at um, in just a second. All right guys, so here's where we're at with just the, uh, with just the spring um, locating, locator on the bottom. Um, it looks like we are at one, Nine hundred thousandths. Um, this should exactly. We should have uh, the install height on this should be uh, one eight hundred thousandths. So we're going to, have to shim this up a hundred thousandths using using our uh, shim kit. So I'll go through that, and we'll make sure we got enough to shim everything up proper and go from there. So that's with the titanium retainers. All right, guys. Be back in a second. All right, so we got a couple shims together. Uh, um, looks like we can get right at about 95 and a half, 96. Um, well, we needed 100, so that'll put us uh, that'll put us right where we need to be. The smallest other shim I have is a 15 thousandths, um, so that would put us at um, at 110. Um, probably, I don't know. I may do that. I may go with a little bit extra because um, I've got I've got wiggle room on the install height, so. I'll go with a little extra spring pressure and we'll do the uh, 110 thousandths. Alright guys, so one of them is back together with the new uh, titanium retainers and uh, the pack, uh, pack trick flow springs. Um, here's the part number on the retainer. And this is, here is the part number on the springs. This is the recommended um, upgrade spring, the 1.3. These are TFS uh, by pack. So um, we're getting ready to head out. I'm going to finish the other the other head tomorrow, but I did want to show you. We did. Um, I got up early this morning, and I don't know if you can see, but you know we relapped in all the valves, cleaned everything up, took the heads totally apart. So everything is looking. Looking pretty clean there. Um, so all I'm going to do here is uh, install the install the valves, the shims, 
and the seals, so that much is done. And then when I come back tomorrow, we're going out of town for the night. When I come back tomorrow, we'll uh, we'll go ahead and install the the rest of the eight springs. All right, guys, uh, we'll get back at you tomorrow.